In today's data-driven world, the ability to extract valuable insights from vast and complex data sets is a skill that has become indispensable for professionals across various industries. Whether you're a data scientist, business analyst, researcher, or simply someone who deals with data on a regular basis, the process of data wrangling is a critical step in transforming raw data into actionable information. Python, with its powerful libraries and tools, has emerged as the go-to programming language for data wrangling and analysis. Among these libraries, Pandas stands out as a versatile and efficient data manipulation and analysis library that has become the backbone of many data-centric projects. In this video series, we will embark on a journey to explore the world of data wrangling using Python and Pandas. From loading data into a Pandas series and data frame, to cleaning, transforming, and visualizing it, we will cover a wide range of techniques and best practices that will empower you to tackle real-world data challenges effectively. Whether you're a beginner looking to get started with data analysis or an experienced data professional seeking to refine your skills, this video series will provide you with the knowledge and tools to make the most out of your data, enabling you to unlock the insights hidden within your data sets and take your work to the next level. Pandas is short for Python Data Analysis Library and it provides us with data structures and functions that simplify the process of working with structured data. At its core, Pandas introduces two primary data structures into Python, the series and the data frame. These structures are designed to handle one-dimensional labeled arrays and tabular data, respectively. With Pandas, you can seamlessly load, manipulate, clean, and analyze data from various sources, such as CSV files, text files, databases, or even web APIs. To get started with Pandas, we can install it from the terminal using the Python Package Manager. Simply open your command prompt or terminal application and run the following command, pip install pandas. This command will download and install the pandas library along with all of its dependencies within your current instance of Python. You will want to make sure that you have Python installed in your system before running this command. If you've previously installed the Anaconda distribution of Python, you likely already have a current version of Pandas installed on your machine, and you will receive a message stating that this requirement has already been satisfied, or your current version of Pandas will be updated to the latest distribution. Once you have Pandas installed, you can go ahead and import the library into any Python script or Jupyter notebook using the statement import Pandas. To simplify references to Pandas in your code, you can give Pandas a shorthand alias by saying import Pandas as PD. In Python, the as keyword is used in import statements to create an alias or alternative name for a module, function, or class that you import. This can be helpful for various reasons, including avoiding naming conflicts, improving code readability, or simplifying long module names. By convention, PD is commonly used as the alias for the Pandas library, and therefore we will be using that throughout this video series. Now that we have Pandas installed and imported, we're ready to go.